An eyeball, covered by a red nose sign, spins into view. White text on a black background reads, Mason in the dark. Cut to black. Hello everyone, Mason here. How you doing? Today it's time for the Booktube Oldie Tag. Brought to my attention by books, songs and other magic, and originally created by Cozy Monica. It's been a while since I did a tag, and when I saw this one I thought, screw it, why not? So here I am, and the first question is... How long have you been a member of the Booktube community? I found Booktube in late 2020. At the time, I was running a pro wrestling review channel, which I was slowly starting to lose interest in due to also losing interest in wrestling itself. I mean, I say that, I still keep up with what goes on in WWE now, but it's a very visual medium and the commentary is wank. Or at least it was when I was still watching. I'm pretty sure I've told this story before, but basically, I hadn't read anything in a number of years due to the rapid decline in my vision from around 2012 to 2017, and then after being completely blind for just over three years, I listened to an audiobook of 1984. After that, I wanted to check out some reviews and discussions, and that ended up being a rabbit hole. I'd say that was around September time, and then I was just lurking as a member of the audience from then till around mid-January 2021, which wasn't a good month for me. For various reasons, I was already at my wits end with the wrestling review channel anyway, and then my guide dog Una died, and I decided to step away and take a break, but after a couple of weeks I realised it wasn't a break, I was just done with that channel. However, I wasn't done with YouTube. I like being a content creator, and by that time I'd already realised that the Booktube community was full of my people, and I wanted to join the ranks. So I did, and I uploaded my first video on the 2nd of February. So, to answer the question, I've been a member of the community for about three and a half years. What would you say was your biggest misconception before you started? Honestly, this is a pretty simple one. I reckon my biggest misconception was about myself. I really thought that I was going to end up being one of the people who did predominantly fantasy reviews, and as many of you know by now, that ain't the case. Other than that, I don't really think I had any preconceived notions, mostly because it was such a spur-of-the-moment decision. Joining Booktube seemed fun, so I did, and now here we are. How do you think Booktube has changed? See, I find that hard to define, because even though we use Booktube as an umbrella term, it's not really one cohesive community. Like Gareth said in his version of this tag, Booktube has layers. There's at least a bit of a divide between the bigger and smaller channels, and then you've got various pockets of all the different niches. Obviously, there's people who are into and cover more than one genre, but for the most part, people tend to have the favourite that they focus on, and they gravitate towards others who share those same passions, which makes sense. I do feel like it creates this situation in which we have a load of vaguely disconnected pockets with just a few strands linking them together though. There's so many moving parts, and because of that, it's difficult to define how the community as a whole has changed. I think the shift towards short form content has had the biggest effect. Longer videos are less likely to be viewed now, so people are less likely to make them because they feel the pressure to get their point across as fast as possible in case the casual audience loses interest. I do think that's a symptom of the wider internet culture though, as opposed to being specifically a booktube thing. What is your favourite booktube memory? There's a few. I don't want to pick just one, cause, and I haven't had a chance to say this in a long time, I do what I want. I remember when I created the Universes Collide tag, which was my first original boot tag. I wasn't expecting it to go anywhere, and then it just started spreading, and yeah, okay, it didn't catch fire and go viral or anything like that, but it went further than I ever expected it to, and that was so exciting, especially because I was such a newbie at the time. 
It only took a couple of months of being back into reading to spark me love of writing again and I will never forget the feeling of accomplishment when I finally uploaded The View from the Fifth Floor, which was my first ever fully fledged, properly finished short story. I was proper proud of myself and then the guys from the Codex Cantina did an analysis of it and I couldn't have been happier. For my first booktube birthday I did Dear Mason, the satirical Agony Aunt style call in radio show. Collaborating with everyone, seeing what they came up with for their entries and trying to get inside the head of this character I was creating to form the responses was so much fun. Despite the fact I really enjoyed working on them, I've only ever done two of those Dear Masons because the first time Mason Dark, the host of the show, was a harmlessly oblivious idiot with a bit of an inflated ego. The second time round though, I turned those traits up to the max and as a result I hate that character now. I'd love to do another one but I'd just need to find a way to rehabilitate Mason Dark because he's a proper unbearable dickhead. I'm not gonna lie though, I think my favourite memory was the moment I opened the email from Jeremy to find out that Dishonored in Death had been accepted into Half Human Heroes. It was like 8 o'clock in the morning, Lee wasn't even awake yet, and I just rolled over and I was like, Lee, it's happening! I never thought I'd actually achieve something like that, and the next few months were just immensely exciting. The whole experience boosted my self-confidence through the roof. What books were you introduced to, thanks to BookTube? The first five I can think of are The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, Sweet Pea by CJ Skews, The Snow Killer by Ross Greenwood, Good Omens, although I've only watched the TV show so far but I will read the book so I'm counting that, and The Lightning Struck Heart by TJ Klune. That's a bit of a cheat because it's my most recent read but I really am glad that Joe introduced me to it. With the exception of maybe the Snow Killer, which is just a really solid police procedural, the other four are strong examples of what I think are uniquely memorable stories by authors who clearly know what they're doing, and as a student of the craft, I appreciate that. Which aspects of Bootube do you find frustrating? Beyond a shadow of a doubt, the thing that annoys me most about Bootube is... Thumbnails. It's one of the most visual aspects of YouTube and I just couldn't care less about them. I don't appear on camera so there's no point appearing in the thumbnails which means I have to come up with some sort of text based thing and try and make it interesting and sometimes it just feels like I'm wasting my time. Sometimes I wish I was a wizard just so I could find a way to personify the concept of thumbnails and punch it in the face. I mean, seriously, I haven't a clue what the thumbnail for this video is going to be. I haven't even finished recording it yet, and now I'm thinking about it, and... <sighs> it's okay. It's alright. That's a problem for later. Yeah, don't worry. I'm mostly joking about that. My actual answer is being a completely blind member of the community. At the end of the day... Being a bookworm has quite a few different aspects to it, one of which is being a collector and enjoying the aesthetic of it all. I get it, and I think I'd be the same if I could see, but I can't, which means I just can't take part in any discussions about that sort of thing. There's been quite a few times where I've considered doing a tag video, but three, four or more of the prompts have been about the visual aesthetic of reading, and that's the majority of the prompts, and at that point there's just no point in me doing the tag. Sometimes that sort of thing can feel a little bit isolating, but it's just the way it is, and in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't really matter that much. What's your hope for the future of BookTube? Well, that's the great unknown, isn't it? Nobody knows what the future holds. That's the most exciting thing about it, in my experience. Now, in all seriousness... My hope for the future of BookTube is that thousands more people can have just as much fun as I've had the last few years. And that long form videos continue to exist because shorts are hard and I hate making them. I like watching them though. That makes me part of the problem, doesn't it? I'm gonna have a long think about that. You know what to do if you've enjoyed this video, so do it.
Over the next 24 hours, your entire body will be enveloped by the most intense pins and needles you've ever experienced. Now that you've been warned, I'm off, and you should have a good one.